Hey guys, this is a quick setup video for your new iPad Air. So let's get started. So let's flip this around. So first things first, how to power on your iPad Air for the first time. So up here, you guys are gonna see a power button that's gonna be on the side. You guys are gonna see the speakers. On the side, power button, just hold on to it. And you should see a Apple logo popping up. No, you do not need to charge this. It's just gonna start up and it should come with some battery. If it doesn't come with any battery, I would actually return it. And why would I return this if it doesn't have battery? Well, it could be damaged because they're not supposed to go down to zero. And what I mean by that is that you don't want it ever to go down to zero and completely die, even if you're using it yourself. So if somebody sends it to you brand new and it's a zero, you can't charge it at all. Well, you can't turn it on at all. That means it's a problem. It has to have some battery left. But anyways, they always come with battery, especially if you buy it straight from Apple. That means it has not been used before. It's not refurbished or anything like that. Anyways, right now, just choose whatever language you like. There's a bunch of them, as you guys can see. Scroll all the way down. You guys can choose whichever makes sense to you. I'm going to choose English. Choose your region. It can be anything, US or any other one from this list. So we're going to go on and just choose Canada for now. Appearance. So here's the part where you guys can go on and set up how big it is. So you can go even bigger. It's going to show you that big. You can go really large and it's going to go really large or just default. For me, default's the best. So I'm going to go into continue on. Right now, it's going to look for any devices. So if you guys have an iPhone, you could use Quick Start to transfer your information. If you had an older iPad, just bring it beside, have Bluetooth turned on, and you're going to see a message popping up on your iPad so you guys can do this quick start. However, if you're brand new to this, then you can skip this part because you don't have anything from Apple yet. So you can go on and set up, well, without a device. Then scroll down to see whichever Wi-Fi makes sense to you. We're going to choose this one here, put the password. So once you have the password, you can press on join. And there we go. Right now, it's just gonna connect up. Yes, you do need Wi-Fi. Can you use hotspot? Of course, that's a Wi-Fi uh, network after all, so it's the same thing. So right now, all you guys have to do is just wait. It's gonna download some stuff, and then we can go on and keep going with this. Now get ready, because sometimes this takes a bit when we have to update iPad. So we're gonna go on into continue. Then from here, we're gonna set up this iPad. However, you wanna set up for your kids, that's the second option, or your family. Or the first option is for you. We're going to assume this is for you. Set up iPad. And right now, Touch ID. So the new Touch ID is actually up here. So it's pretty cool the way it works. You can set up now or set up later. So if you guys are planning to gift this to someone or you're selling it, maybe. I'm not really sure. You don't want to import any personal information. You can skip that. So you can set up Touch ID later. Just tap there and then just continue on. However, if you guys do want to set this up right now, go on and you just have to touch it. And then just go like this with your finger. And I'm setting up the Touch ID. See how I'm lifting up my finger and placing it again? And usually it's going to be with this finger, your index. Uh, you could use any other finger technically, but for most of you, it's going to be that one. So um, right now it said that it's OK. We're going to continue on. And we're almost done, so we just have to do the exact same thing. So this is how you guys set up your fingerprint touch ID, which is uh, something pretty cool that they got into iPads now without having that home button. So add another fingerprint. This is good because you can add another person, for example, it's just an example, or another finger, or you can set up that later in settings. So that's especially when you rotate your iPad. So you might want to use your right hand right to set that up and your left hand as well so you go always you know whichever hand you use to touch that it's gonna work for now i'm gonna go on and since i already showed you how this works i'm gonna go on and set that up later and right now it's gonna ask me to create a passcode you do have passcode options so you want to show you that so you guys have those options i'm gonna choose four because it's just easier and since this is, you know, something that doesn't really matter to me, I'm just going to go 111. Use anyway. You guys shouldn't use this if you care about, about it. I mean, if somebody can get their hands on it, you have personal information, 
you shouldn't use something like this. In my case, it does not matter. Right now, you guys can transfer any information that you guys had from your other iPad. You can even transfer information from an iPhone. There's certain things you can transfer, not everything, such as your contacts, stuff like that, you can. With your Apple ID, all that stuff comes in anyways, but um, that goes from your iCloud backup, so that's the first option. You guys can import stuff from Mac or PC or from Android as well. However, if you're brand new, most likely you don't have anything. And from Android, it's not that great, so I would skip that anyways if you come from Android. So don't transfer anything. All right, so the next step is going to ask you for your Apple ID. If you have one, this is the time to do that. Go ahead and put it in. If you don't have one, just go into the second option where it says forgot password or don't have an app ID. There are other, other options here I'm going to show you. Use device to sign in. Okay, so you can use another device to sign in. Or you can use multiple accounts. So we're just going to take a look at the normal stuff. We're going to pretend that you guys don't have an app ID. And we're going to go in here. We can reset our password. That's not the problem here. We're going to create an Apple ID. So again, if you guys don't have an Apple ID, that's the option for you. Now, if you don't want to import any information to this iPad, you would use this, set up later in settings. I highly suggest if this for you, go ahead and set up your Apple ID right now, create one. If you guys don't want to import any information in here yet, then go on and set up later in settings. So press don't use. So whether you guys press don't use, or you signed into your Apple ID, this will be popping up agree to it and then later on you're going to see this the automatic update continue on and then from here this i would always turn this on so you guys can use google maps and all that stuff siri this is so cool to set up it's actually really really easy so we're going to show you how to set this up right now however again you guys can set up later in settings so you guys can skip this part if you guys again don't want to import anything but if you guys do want to put this siri go ahead and continue what i like is Voice number four. Hi, I'm Siri. So that's the, the voice you'd like one that use. I'm used to. You can change it later in settings. And yes, you can change it later in settings, like I said. And pretty much almost everything that we're doing right now, you can change later on, by the way. Anyways, continue on. Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And Siri's ready. So that's how you guys can set up Siri. If you guys skip that part, don't worry about it. You would see this anyways. Well, not this part. Uh, right now we can share audio or not. Your choice. Screen time. This is something that I would set up if it's for your kids or something like that. If it's for you, most likely not. Because I, I don't think you guys will care about how much time you're getting on the screen. But if you do, go ahead and do it. And you can set up some restrictions there too. However, if you don't care, go into set up later in settings. Then can see this. I highly suggest sharing with Apple. You don't have to. Again, I highly suggest sharing. This part is kind of nice. So you guys can set up light, dark, and auto. So auto means that it's going to change to dark at nighttime, light during the day. And if you guys always want it to be dark, it's going to look like this. But it's not the greatest thing for this video. So I'm going to leave it as light. I personally like dark. It's better for my eyes. And now we're gonna get started. And that's the basic stuff that you guys get on your iPad. So what apps do you guys get pre-installed on your iPad without importing anything? These are it right here. And there's nothing else. You guys are looking at everything that you guys get in your iPad right away without downloading anything. So these are things I did not download. These are just things that are installed in here already. I just keep tapping on the wrong stuff. I wanna show you everything. So let me just show you throughout all the screens. And there you go, that's it. So it comes pre-installed like this. Now I do have a manual that teaches you how to go about an iPad and how to go and use everything within the iPad. That's for the basics for beginners. But this is just a setup video, so I just showed you the main things from here. You guys can edit everything from the iPad basically, well, almost everything from the iPad. And that manual is really good for those of you who don't know how to handle your iPad. But as of now, we're done with the whole setup. Go ahead and enjoy your iPad, and we'll see you later. And if you guys have any comments, questions, don't forget to write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.